Hi, it's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com. It's uh, here in the first week of August 2012. I'm in a soybean field here at Robison Farms, east of Greenwood, Indiana, south of Indianapolis. And uh, what we're finding here, and you're going to see some data to back this up uh, shortly, but um, and maybe very possibly with this video, uh, we're finding that where we had cover crops in 2010 that was sprayed out in 2011, and then now we had cover crops in 2011 sprayed out in 2012, that we're seeing a significant increase in the size or the height of the soybeans where we've had cover crops two years in a row. Um, in fact, uh, about 25% increase in height um, compared to uh, what we're finding in the rest of the field. Uh, I'm right along the edge of the field here and I, I know you can't probably see this on tape but uh, you can see almost right to the row where the uh, cover crop ended uh, and uh, where it's been no-till and then all this was no-tilled um, now 23, 24 straight years. You can tell right to the row where the cover crop ended and then where there was a check where there was no cover crop. And as we go down further, you can see the exact same thing uh, where the cover crop had been two years in a row, because uh, this last year we had annual ryegrass and uh, crimson clover and radish before these soybeans, where we've had cover crop two years in a row, continuous no-till, we're seeing an advantage over where we've just had one year of cover crop, and that's on the height of the bean being considerably taller than uh, where we've just had one year of cover crop. Now as I pan out into the field uh, where we had um, where we had uh, tillage uh, last year for the first time in a number of years, 20 some odd years, we can come right to the edge of the plot here and then all of a sudden the beans go off again. So we're seeing a big difference where we had uh, cover crops two years in a row versus no cover crops. I'm uh, thigh high here. I was almost chest high over in the other areas. And, uh, and here we go right into this area where I'm well over waist high here. So it's six, eight inches extra height uh, in this area where we had the cover crop two years in a row. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, pretty amazing how we're seeing some benefits of using cover crops uh, for beyond one year and uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of yield we're going to get. But like I say, you can tell right to the row where the cover crop stopped and uh, where also then where the tillage started from a couple years ago too. Dave Robison, plantcovercrops.com, looking at soybeans on Robison Farms in Central